go ahead and start our thread on our 5 aught Mustad 3407 DT hook. And we're going to go ahead and put some white bucktail. And what we're tying here is a village tackle um, pink and white, what I'm calling a bait fish fly. These are becoming very popular for us here at Village Tackle. And I tell you, they produce some great results. Not only in the freshwater market, but also in the saltwater market as well. So I have all my white bucktail on the hook. I'm just using some red thread. And I'm going to go ahead and put a pinch of pink on the top. I like to splay that out just ever so slightly. Just kind of keeping everything on top of that. Other part there. Now this is where I will... Just put in a smidgen, and when I say a smidgen, I mean a very, very small amount of UV resin, just to get all that coated and uh, protected. It's not very much, just, like I said, a smidgen of UV resin. So I'm gonna go ahead and spin my vise work that thread up on there just to create a nice good taper head just kick it into a little bit of overdrive and of course put our whip finish in and then what I'm going to use is a called uh, a peacock um, flash this is a uh, magnum flash and it is a great product so and what I do is I measure it out, and because it's so long, I pretty much can get one or two strands of it just to cover what I'm going to need. So the object here isn't to go overboard with the uh, flash, just enough to say, hey, Mr. Fish, I think I want to be eaten today. <laughs> I, want you, I want to be your lunch. <laughs> so... That's all we're that's all we're uh, looking to achieve here. Like I said, nothing fancy, nothing over the top, just enough to get a good presentation. Now this is where the magic is. I like to preen that back, and I'm just wetting it back so that way it's not going to interfere with our gluing of the eyes. And what I do is I just take and turn this here so I can get it on the side just to put a little dollop of UV cement and I'm preparing my eyes just gonna grab one with a razor knife here just put it on top and I looking at making sure that it is straight and even to where I need it to be and it looks like it is. And we do the same with the other side. Just flip it over. Doing your eyes this way makes it so much easier to make sure that you're in good proportions with um, where your eyes are. They're not sliding off. Um, one's cocked over to the other. And I just make sure I split the eye and a half the pupil of the eye to where the thread ends on the thread head and then line it up and once I think I got it there let's go ahead and hit it with the UV light and here here's the magic I'm just gonna go ahead and coat some UV resin in between those two eyes. Lighten it up. I do the top. Turn the fly over. Do the bottom. Just waiting for that glue to smelly kick off. You'll smell it. Smell the UV glue once it 
is getting ready to cure or is fully cured is when it puts off an odor. And that's when you know that you pretty well have got it made. So like I said, I flip it over to that side where the eye is, and then I'm going to flip it over to the other side and just kind of coat down through in there. Making sure that my light is on. And I'm looking for any type of void areas in my UV cured head. It doesn't look like I have any, so that's a good sign. There you have it. A pink and white village tackle bait fish fly. Simple but very, very effective in both saltwater and freshwater fishing.